Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Universe Sandbox. It's been a while, I have been a little delayed, yeah, I'm lazy, I'm sorry, I haven't felt the best, um, but yeah, anyways, so last um, episode I did of this series, we did Jupiter, we turned it into a star, but this time, we got the most votes to do Sedna, so, all the way up, wait, where is Sedna, what, oh there it is, here it is, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I moved it, yeah put it at its closest point to the sun so yeah said no one last time so here it is it's completely in darkness but one thing that made me laugh as well is it looked like the same guy had voted three times or three different accounts but even even if he didn't do that Sedna still won because it had the most votes so yeah I hope that guy's watching because I did notice I I do think there was a guy who voted more than once on different accounts because they all of the comments they all um they all were like 10 minutes, or like a few minutes apart, I believe. I don't know the precise time, but they were like, they definitely all happened within half an hour. So I'm assuming it's the same guy switching accounts, but honestly, I don't know. Sedna still won anyway, because it had the most votes. So without further ado, let's start turning Sedna into a star. So yeah, Sedna's pretty small as well. Look how far away it is. It's, this is its closest point to the sun right now as well. It's right here. Then there's its orbit, goes all the way over there. So. We're going to do the traditional thing where we literally just fire stuff at it and we are literally going to warm it up, get it, make it a lot bigger and all that good stuff. So, first of all, let's start off by shooting a Sedna into a Sedna. So, let's do this. So let's turn the sound down, or not the sound, the time down. And let's launch a Sedna into a Sedna. Whoa, what happened? Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright, it's just getting a lot bigger already. Well, it's got about. Well, it's gone up a bit, alright. I don't think it was that large, to be honest. Alright. Slow it down a lot more. There we go, a few minutes. Now let's just literally shoot Shedners into Sedners. Oh, look at all those explosions. Wow. I think one of the Sedners escaped. Wait. There it is. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So it's so dark out here, we can't even spot them. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, Sedners getting larger. Alright. We need to get it large enough to throw Plutos into it. Alright, let's just place loads of other ones here. Whoa. Okay, it's all smoking. I don't know why it's smoking up. Let's just continually spam the click button. <laughs> There we go. Look at all these Sednas. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh, it's getting hotter. 700 degrees, it's starting to glow, so we'll be able to see it a lot easier. There we go, boys. That looks pretty sweet. Alright, we're almost as large as Pluto now. Wait, how big's Pluto? Alright, here's Pluto. So, we're almost as large. How big is Pluto? Okay, we can throw a Pluto inside now. There we go. Let's see those big ones. There we are. Look at that. So, Sedna's already getting a lot larger, so... That's good, so Sedna is almost the size of a decent planet now, actually. Wait, how big's Mercury? Okay, so it needs to pretty much get a lot bigger still. But Sedna is almost as large as a planet, so we've got a new planet now. Alright, let's continue to throw Plutos in. Alright, can we throw Mercury in yet? Whoa, what was that? Where'd that come from? <laughs> Looks like it's another fragment. Yeah, Mercury's still too big. What about, wait, can we throw any of the, um, can we throw Europa in yet? Yeah, this is the smallest, like, major moon of Jupiter. Or the second Galilean moon, you've got Io, Europa, which is the second one, Ganymede and Callisto, so, there we go, alright, let's try the moon, okay, we can throw the moon in, yeah, there we go, what about Ganymede, yeah, Ganymede and Callisto are still too, too, too large, oh, we can throw Callisto in, there we go, alright, now we can definitely throw a Ganymede in, alright, there we go, so now we can eat the largest, um, the largest moon, so that means we can definitely eat Mercury, there we go, alright, now we need to get large enough to throw a Venus in to make it even larger, yeah, because I like doing it this way, like, instead of, like, just shooting, um, instead of just making it bigger in the option here, just making it as large as a star, let's be a little more, like, be a little more realistic here, like, if an object's going to get larger and turn into a star, of course it's going to gain a lot more mass, and things like that, because it can't just turn to a star, like, just out of nowhere, like, something's got to happen, whoa, look at all of the explosion effects, that is crazy, I'm glad I'm on a gaming PC, because if I tried this on my old setup, on my old PC, yeah, this would have probably, like, lagged and crashed by now, but anyways... Can we eat a Mars yet? Oh, okay, we can eat Mars. That's pretty sweet. Let's continue throwing those guys in. Oh my gosh. What about a Venus? Okay, we're not large enough to eat Venus yet. So a little more Mercury's, Mars's. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Look at all those fragments. Sedna must be getting really hot by now. How hot is Sedna anyway? Let's have a look. Can we even get on Sedna? Let me click on Sedna, please. And all these fragments. Okay, so about 2,000 degrees, so that's about the heat of a brown dwarf star right now. Alright. Wow, it's still getting larger. Look at that size increase. Can we just do that? Oh, wow. 
It looked like it was just getting lots, or it was just getting larger over time, but yeah, I just sped it up by selecting this option here. So now we are larger than Earth. So we can definitely throw Earth in. Let's put some Venus in as well. There we go. Right, now we need to save up to put a Planet 9 inside it, because Planet 9 is smaller than um, Neptune and Uranus, remember? Alright. Come on, let's continue spamming Earths. Let's put them all around. There we go. Wow, alright. Planet 9 yet? Okay, we're nowhere near putting Planet 9 in. The Sedna's getting pretty big now. Wait, can we throw Kepler 22b in? That's a large, um, a large water planet. Okay, we can barely eat that yet. What about these smaller Kepler planets in there? Oh, that's a lot larger. Yeah, here's Kepler-37b, that's one of the smallest exoplanets found, so this is like the smallest size of a planet, pretty much. Or we can eat these larger rocky planets here. These guys are already glowing. There we go. Let's continue putting those guys in, about these ones. Whoa, it's getting hot around here. <laughs> Look how hot Sedna is now, oh my gosh. Can we eat these ones? Which is the largest one out of these, anyway? Can we eat that yet? Still can't eat that. Ooh. Yeah, which one of these is the largest? Fowls. Uh, oh yeah, this one, Kepler 69C is the largest out of these ones. Yeah, I just have to count those. <laughs> what about this one here? Is that... Oh, can we eat these as well? That's pretty good. These got a lot of water on them. This is a custom object, but... Yeah, uh, it's, it's still a real planet, I believe, and it has water on it, we think. But we don't actually know for sure if it has water, but we believe it does, so... Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Right, it looks like Seddon's getting to about the heat of the sun now, I want to say. Oh, it's hotter than the sun, oh my god. Yeah, the sun's about 5,000 degrees. Look, where's the sun for comparison? Wait, we're so far away, I can't even spot anything else. So the sun is, yeah, 5,775 degrees, while Sedna, 7,637. So yeah, Sedna's a lot hotter now. So, can we eat a Planet 9 or Uranus yet? Neptune, Planet 9? We can almost eat Planet 9. I think we can, actually. It doesn't say it's radius for some reason, that's weird. Wait, let me kick on Sedna. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, we can definitely eat Sedna now. Alright. Or Planet 9, I mean. Alright. So let's get the custom Planet 9. I don't like this one here. I like getting my custom blue one in. It's much nicer. Alright, so now we've got a gas giant. Sedna is now a gas giant. Because all of that gas Planet 9 had on it. All that hydrogen, methane, all that stuff. It's all now um, gases. So Sedna will eventually just become large enough to become a gas giant. Oh, what's that? Einstein's planet. I didn't know that existed. Maybe I'll add it into my, uh, what's it, so next size comparison. I didn't know Einstein had a planet. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go back to the main option now. Let's go with Neptunes and Uranuses in. And we'll eventually be able to eat a Saturn or a Jupiter, which would be cool. Alright, there's Neptunes now. Let's throw Uranus in. Because Uranus is larger. But no, no, no. Neptune actually has more mass. We want mass. Because it's going to be a star. So, yeah, we need as much mass as possible. So, Neptune has got more mass or atoms inside it. So, yeah. Uranus may be bigger, but Neptune is like, got more stuff in it, pretty much, so, there we go. Right, what about a Saturn? Okay, we're still in a Saturn. Oh, wow, we just got a lot bigger there. It's losing a bit of mass, but can we just do this? Okay, make it bigger. Look at all of the explosion, how hot is it now? Wait, can we see how hot? Okay, yeah, it's getting really hot. We're almost hot enough to make it go blue. Yeah, because blue is hotter than red. Yeah, you may think, oh, red means hot, but no, in, in like, space terms, um, blue is actually hotter, like, if you go down here, all of the blue stars, like, um, where is it, Sirius or Rigel here, these, these stars are hotter than the sun, and they're blue. So yeah, blue stuff's hotter than yellow stuff, <laughs> like, the sun, the sun's yellow. And then stuff like Proxima Centauri here, that's a red dwarf, so they're small, so red's actually cold. So when you see a red giant star, it's actually a cold surface, it's actually cold, or colder than other stars, but it's still a lot brighter. Because just the heat doesn't always mean it's going to be dim. It can still be really bright. Right, look look how many of these Neptunes we're eating, right? This is crazy. Alright, let's speed it up a lot more now. Right, can we eat a Saturn yet? I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't yet. Let's give it a booster. Let's make it go up to about 60,000. Just to speed things up. Don't want to bore you guys just by shooting stuff into stuff, so... There we go. Now we can eat Saturns and stuff. And let's try Jupiter. Can we eat Jupiter yet? Okay, we can't eat Jupiters yet, so we have to... Continually eat Saturns. So we go. Well, the music tracks change. I can tell. Uh... Oh my God! Look at this. It's this crazy. How hot is it? <laughs> Sedna must be boiling hot right now. Oh my God. I know Sedna has cooled down actually. It's only at um, two hundred or two thousand degrees now. Still getting a lot larger. We've got forty masses of Jupiter now. 
Oh, whoa. Have we got a star yet? Yeah, I just increased the size. Whoa, this thing is huge. There's Jupiter there. Wow. This is tiny. I think I might save that for my size camp house, and I'll rename it something else, maybe. So let's just call it Planet... Let's call it B Big... Big Gas. I don't know. That's a, it's still a gas giant. We know that. So let's just save that. I'll keep that for a future reference. Because that, because usually you can't get planets this large. Usually they just collapse into stars. But for some reason this one hasn't. Hey, we've got a surviving Sedna down here. Oh my god. That thing's beaten up. Well, let's delete it. We don't want it. Alright. So. This thing, I'm surprised it isn't a star yet. Honestly, this is crazy. Wait, can we eat a two mass? Oh my god, we can eat one of these things. Wow. Okay, yeah. Oh, we got a star now. We're glowing. There we go. We've done it. So we've got Sedna as a star, so there you go, whoever, or all of the guys who requested Sedna as a star, here we are, we've got our star. But actually, let's make it a lot larger, let's throw more mass into it. Okay, look how big it's getting now. I don't want to throw another star into it, because I think it may um, explode, so let's get it to about a mass of one sun. So it's about the size of the sun now. Come on, get to about one million kilometres. Come on, one million is about the size of the sun, I believe. Right, there we go. Right, here's the sun. Yeah, the sun's about 800,000, I think, kilometers in radius. So there we go. we've got about a million kilometers in radius. So it's about 2 million kilometers in size. So it's a little larger than the sun. Let's turn that on. So there we go. We've got the correct temperature. So this is how hot this star would actually be with 1.26 masses of the sun. So, look, well, it's um, actually colder than the sun. The sun's 5,000, remember. This one's only 4,700. So there we go. So we've got a second star in the solar system now. So let's just remove all of that debris there. So let's get rid of that. So now, if we go to the orbits, um, can we make this auto orbit? Is it going to make a binary orbit with the sun? Alright, there we go. We don't want it just going directly into the sun. Alright, so now, Sedna, well, no, let's just rename it Sedna, it's really called Sedna. Sedna, um, there we go. I have to think about how to spell that actually there. Alright, what is it actually made out of as well? Is it all just hydrogen? Iron? It's made of iron apparently, that makes no sense. So we've got an iron star here, so that's why it's very dense. It's got a lot of mass, or a lot of... It's that thing would weigh a ton, basically. Right. So it'd be like Mercury, because I believe Mercury is the most dense planet. I want to say that. If, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Mercury is the most dense planet. Because if we go to Mercury quick as well. Sorry I'm going off topic, but... Yeah, Mercury. Look how much iron it has. 46% of Mercury is iron, but if we go to Earth, only 24% is. So I believe Mercury weighs more than Earth, even though it's smaller. It's not all about size, remember? All right. So let's speed up time, let's see what happens if we make Sedna a star. Alright, looks like it's the game's getting quite laggy right now, so let's just... Sometimes we can fix this by saving the simulation, so let's quickly save, and then reopen it, and then hopefully any any laggy things will have gone. So there we go, let's hit play. So there's Sedna now, and hit play. Oh yeah, because I forgot Sedna's so far away as well. Like, all the stuff in the inner area, that's all moving fine, it's just... Sedna's so far away, it's moving really slow, so yeah, that's why. It's not the game lagging, it's just it's going really slow. There we go. Right, now we're moving. Right, so all of the dwarf planets you can see, Planet 9's just always out here, just chilling. Sedna's here. So let's go check out on this dwarf planet, Orcus. How close is it to Sedna right now? It looks like, okay, it looks like Sedna's closer, actually. Wait, is that Sedna's light here? I don't even know. Look at the daylight cycle here, that's pretty cool. So there's Sedna there. How bright is Sedna as well? Let's have a look. Okay, so it's got a lot, it's more luminous than the sun as well, so it emits more energy. It, emit, it emits more energy a year, pretty much. I think that's that's what luminosity is, pretty much. It's just how much energy it emits and how bright it is in the sky. Whoa, that dwarf planet Ixion just got launched, oh my god. Whoa, look at the solar system go. Making, making um, Sedna a star probably wasn't a good idea. The whole solar system's moved, because the sun is just in the orbit. Looks like all of these planets, are they still in orbit? Let's have a look. Oh, they are. It's just the system's really unstable now. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty crazy. Let's put trails back on. There we go. Wait, have we got... Has Sedna got his first orbiting body yet? Oh, yeah. So this one here... I don't know how to say that. Quora? Sorry, I can't pronounce it, guys. But it looks like this one here is it's Sedna's first, like, orbiting partner, I guess. Oh, no. Uranus is as well now. Still minus 115, still very cold here. But you can see, I don't know why it's a shadow. Why is there a shadow here? It makes no sense. I think that's just a glitch in the game. Oh well. So, let's speed up what happens now. So we're travelling pretty much years a second now, because usually when we do like stuff like Jupiter and Ceres, 
they're a lot closer to the sun, so things are moving slower, but well, because Sedna's so far away from the sun still, we've got to put the time up really fast, because all the orbits is on a lot larger scale here. I can't see what happens when Uranus gets close. Hang on, where's Planet 9? A Planet 9's still the way over here. That could probably eventually probably get, just get thrown away, it'll probably get too far away. Poor old Pluto here, it's just miles out now. Is it in permanent darkness? Yep, it is, I knew it. Alright. Wait, is it darkness? Yeah, it is, alright. There is Sedna again. It's cool to see it like as a star. Alright. Well, also, guys, tell me which one you want next. So, if we go to the um, bar here. So, we've already done. We've done. Um, what am I saying? Yeah, we've done Jupiter. We've done Ceres, which is there. There's Ceres. So, and now we're doing Sedna. So, any of these objects. Of course, not the sun, because we the sun you can't turn into a star. It's already a star. But, yeah, so any of these objects. We've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and all of these dwarf planets here, except Ceres and Sedna, obviously. So, yeah. Which one do you want me to turn into a star next? So, there we go. Yeah, literally just tell me. Maybe I'll count up the votes from previous episodes as well. Like, any ones that are posted before this one comes out. Maybe I'll count them as well. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to see which one's the most popular to do next. So, yeah. Alright, well, it looks like Uranus has been stolen back by the sun now. But Uranus gets really close now. Look how bright it is here. Wow. Alright. Whoa. I forgot the simulation's going really fast. Alright. So this is its closest point. So how hot is Uranus getting here? Wait, I need to see that. Let's go around again. Come on. Let's go. It's kind of hard to keep track of everything at once. Okay, 131 degrees. It lost its orbit there. Alright. So Saturn's taken over everything else that's like closer than Saturn. Wait, where is Saturn? Oh, Saturn's being ejected, it looks like. Okay. Alright. That's pretty sweet. Alright, now. Let's just speed up time and see what happens. I reckon stuff will get ejected eventually. Yeah, it looks like we may have lost Planet 9. We've lost Saturn, Orcus, Varda, Charlinko. I don't know how you, even know how you say it, but yeah. Neptune. Did I already say Neptune? I don't even know. Look at these orbs. This is crazy. Planet 9's actually holding on there, but I don't think it will last. Yeah, this binary orbit with the sun is pretty crazy. In fact, yeah, for next episode as well, tell me how large I should make the star. Because you, because I... I just make it around the similar size of the sun because honestly like I don't know how large to make it so tell me how large to just make it and wow have you noticed net Uranus's new orbit oh my god look how close it is wait can we see it from earth wait well let's go to Mercury actually can we see that in the sky because remember Uranus is a gas giant wait let's go on the north pole of Mercury all right here we are literally dead on the north pole so there's Sedna over there there's Mars can we see Uranus wait where is Uranus Uranus and I am saying it correctly, it's not your anus, it's Uranus. But anyways, where is it? I don't even know where it is. Where, wait, where is it? Uranus, come on, where are you? Uh, in fact, let's turn the trails on. Okay, it's... Wait, where, where is it? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Alright, so it's up. So let's go back down. It's up here. There it is. So if I turn that off... If you can see my mouse right now, you can just about see there is a dot there, and that is Uranus right there. See, it's not a star, like, if we hit play, that will move. Yeah, it's gone now. I don't know where it is, but, yeah, we can pretty much spot them. You can literally spot the planets in the sky. You just got to be really, really hard to spot them, though, because of all the other stars. Alright, so if you think you're looking at a star in the sky, remember, it could be a planet you're looking at. You never know. Well, it's definitely going to be one of them out, one of them in our solar system, because spotting an exoplanet from Earth without a telescope would be pretty much impossible with human eyesight so yeah okay so Uranus is now one of the closest wait is it close yeah it gets closer than Venus and then I think it goes a little further out but anyways wait let's put it it's its closest point to Venus which is there pretty much now can we where's Venus where is Venus Venus labels there it is there it is all right let's speed uh, Venus's orbit up so let's go to anomaly there Right, so there, now let's zoom in on Venus, then look up. Will we see Uranus? Alright. Alright, below the clouds. Okay, there it is. Is it a little larger? Yeah, there it is again. So let's actually slow down time, actually. Let's see, actually see it move. So let's hit play. So it's right there. So keep an eye out for it. Alright, we're playing. Watch it. See, look, there it is right there. We can have the rings as well, make it a little larger. It may lag the game, but I'll remove the rings after. So let's add the rings. And you can see the rings from here because the rings are further out than the planet is, so you can see it in the sky there. 
That's pretty cool, isn't it? Alright, let's zoom out of Venus again. Let's go back to Uranus. And there you go. There are the rings. We can, actually, we can actually like go on one of these little ones as well. There we go. We're part of the rings of Uranus now. On this tiny little rock. One kilogram mass. So this thing is only centimetres in la um, or centimetres in size. So yeah, a human is larger than this thing. Which is pretty interesting. Alright, let's go out of that. Yeah, so let's remove the rings as well, so you don't want to lag the game out. So, for the last part of the video, let's go and just speed up time and literally just see what happens here. So, yeah, we've got to speed up to years. I forgot. There we go. Okay, so 10 years a second. Right, so who else has been ejected right now? Okay, so we can see uh, all these ones. Orcus, Varda, Charlinko, Neptune, Var, Hermea, Make Make, Quasar, Pluto... I think these guys are still in orbit here. Ixion over there, Saturn, Planet 9. I think they've all been ejected, but we'll keep an eye out. Oh, Eris, why Eris as well? Looks like that's getting pretty far away. Let's look at look at the inner solar system here, all of the remaining planets. This hasn't actually been altered that much, has it? But Uranus in the Uranus that close to the sun will start to muck around with the inner planets a bit. So you can see that Jupiter's orbit's been bent a bit. It's a little further out now. How far away is this from the sun? Let's have a look. Let's put Right, orbit. So it's about. Let's come on, where is it? So it's about five astronomical units away from the sun, so I think. I don't actually know, is that regular for Jupiter? I don't even know. Yeah, you can still see like the day and night cycle with Jupiter is completely must, or messed up. In fact, let's actually check Earth. We haven't actually checked Earth. Oh my god. Wow. Alright. I don't know what's happened to the North Pole. It's, it seems a little hotter. Oh, wait, it's a lot hotter here. Wow. Yeah, look at the heat. There's no North Pole anymore, and then to me it looks a lot dark. It's all brown now. It looks like all the green um, green areas have died out. There's the UK where I live. All right. Looks like the day-night cycle here isn't really a problem. You can see there's an extra bit, this darker section here. You see my mouse there, but there's the UK again. All right. But yeah, Earth seems okay right now. It's a wait. So has its little magnetic sphere protecting it, but that's not really going to do much. All right. So it's lost a little bit of mass as well. It looks like interesting. All right. Let's speed up time again and let's go for a little more. Let's go for a little more mayhem. Oh my god. Wait. Let's go to the sun. Let's look into the sun so we don't see that. There we go. Wow. This is this is actually probably the, one of the craziest ones we've had so far because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at all the ones that got ejected. That was a lot quicker than the Jupiter one we did um, a few days ago. So I don't even know how long ago it was. But anyways, is the system stable now? Honestly, I think apart from Neptune, Pluto, and Planet Nine, there, I think the in this this area is definitely a lot stabler. Like that that will probably survive for a few thousand years, but, or maybe a million years. I, I don't even know. And then Sedna here. This little dwarf planet here is very close to the Sedna now, look. It's a lot closer. It's quite hot here, actually. 147 degrees. That's pretty crazy. Oh, Ver Ver Veruna. Veruna, that's it. So if we zoom out, we've also got... Oh, yes, yeah, so it's literally just those. Like, that's it. This is all that's left of the solar system. Because these ones over here, they don't really count. So, yeah, to stop them from messing around, um, let's delete Saturn, let's delete Iris, these ones. All of the ones that don't have orbits. Yeah, they've, they've been ejected, so let's just delete them all. Any more out here? Alright, that's it. Yeah, just um, freeze the game up a little more. And then if we pause it again, you can see these guys have also been ejected. So let's remove them. That's just checking if they were ejected or not. So this is all that's left. So we've got a binary star system now. How far away is Sedna from the sun? Okay, so it's about 23 astronomical units-ish. Around, around 25, I'd say. So, so that's still pretty far away. From Earth, right? That 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 star there causes no threat to Earth right now. Honestly, the only oh, it's got green again, so it's got yeah. Look, uh, the temperature, 13 degrees. Wait, oh, it went to. I just saw 60 there. Yeah, because what looks like one point of Earth gets closer than the other, so it looks like this side where Venus is. That's the hot point. Wait, let's actually see the closest point. So the closest point to the Sun is here, and then the furthest away point must be here. Oh, I need to get a drink quick. My voice is like dying. Oh. Hmm. Is it me or do I get drink every video while I'm doing the video? That's weird. All right. So these are our main objects. Oh, what's this fragment doing here? Let's delete that. There we go. Let's get rid of that. We don't want that. 
Uh, so these are our main objects. So we literally only have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Vesta, Uranus, Sedna, obviously, Varuna, and Ceres. And I still don't know why that um, weird cl gas cloud is there. But anyways, let's see how Ceres is doing. Looks completely normal, if you ask me. I think that temperature's pretty much normal for Ceres. So, yeah, there you go. So Uranus somehow made it into the inner solar system, which is pretty interesting. Now, it's not even an ice giant. It'd be more of a water giant, because it's... Um, or any water on Uranus would be um, a liquid right now. Alright, does it get to into... Okay, it does get above 100, so it does evaporate as well. Alright. So. Jupiter, so these guys are all okay. They're, they're pretty much stable. And then over here, Sedna, pretty much with Varuna, like, they're not doing anything either. So there we go. So that should do it for the video, I'm assuming. So there we go. We've got our binary star system now. I'm surprised that ended up in a binary system, but there you go. That is a stable binary system, pretty much there. So that's pretty sweet. So anyways, let's give that. Let's save this simulation as well. I like it. Maybe I'll use it in the future. So let's save it right there. I'll sort it out or rename it another time. But there we go. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. And yeah, tell me which um, which object should I do next? So let's leave this simulation. So there we go. Let's go back to my um, where is it? Um, well, where is it? I'm blind. There we go. This one here. Oh, my custom one. All right. So. So what we have next to do is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Ju oh, not Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Iris, Make, Make, Haumea, this dwarf planet here, 2007, OR10, Orcus, Quarka, Vesta, Ceres, Planet 9, Varda, Varuna, Ixion, and Charlinko. So any one of those objects, tell me what I should do next. So, yeah. And I'll pretty much pick a winner. So, yeah, leave a comment on the video right now and tell me what I should do next. So, yeah. Without further ado, I think that will end the video now. So, hopefully you all enjoyed, like I said. Um, subscribe if you're new, leave a like, all that good stuff. And yeah, tell me how I can improve my videos. Like, if there's anything I'm doing wrong, point them out. Any tips are welcome. But yeah, there we go. So, I think I'll... Yeah, I'll end it here. So yeah. What? Oh yeah, see, this is the problem with me. Like, I can't end videos well. That's what I need to improve on. But yeah, there we go. So, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.